Hey Lab Rats, it's Zerian Nguyen of Lab Shenanigans and welcome back Fatality. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the science behind paint. So my cousin recently bought a new house and he's wanting to do some renovations to it. So I thought I could, I could, <laughs> I could talk about paint while we repaint something in your house. But before I do that, I actually need to go over to his house. So these are my cousins and we'll be destroying this house today Just kidding, we'll be painting this house <laughs> Let's talk about paint specifically interior paint. I'm so greasy. So, most paints have three main components pigment binder and solvent I feel like a witch Pigment is a color chemical in a paint generally different metal compounds are used to create different colors it's getting paint everywhere. Okay. On where? Ew, look at the, <laughs> zoom in on this vein. For example, titanium dioxide is used for a bright white color. Iron oxide for yellow, red, brown, and orange. Think of how iron oxidizes and rusts to a reddish brown color. Poo poo brown? Lavender. And then chromium oxide for green and carbon for black. I mean, technically black isn't a color, but it's okay, it's the absence of light. <laughs> Mid-sized car. You don't have to be popular. Look how much he painted, and then look at your. Cut the camera. <laughs> what is that? Look, he's like already on the second wall. I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this bitch up. Okay, are you here to comment or are you here to record? Because if you're here to comment, then you're fired. Okay. <laughs> you're fired. Flown Sleddy wins the race. The binder's job is to glue the pigment particles to one another, but also make them stick to the surface you're painting on. Binder plays a huge role in the paint adhesion, washability, fade resistance, and gloss retention. Oh, my hands are getting tired. So the solvent or thinner makes the pigment and binder into a thinner and less viscous okay. liquid, or more easily flowing, that will spread evenly. We ran out of paint, so we're gonna go back to Home Depot and get more paint. And we are stuck behind a train. Fun fact about Darren about his journey. <laughs> <laughs> They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Oh, we need a meal! Alright, cut the cameras! <laughs> For Home Depot, let's give up a Yeah? Let's do it! Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> now we're on the way to get paint. Uh, we are getting a gallon. Home Depot ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. <laughs> Finished going to Home Depot. Next stop, we are going back home. Cool. Hello, hello. Uh -huh. We should fix the shower. It should be better now. Let's go back upstairs and drop this off. Day two of painting. All right, so the question is, do paints harm your health? Well, previously, lead, which is a toxic heavy metal with a variety of health impacts, was widely used as a pigment in paint until like 1977 when the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission was like, mm, it's not good for us, let's yeet it out. Oh, wait, do you want your head to be in it? No, I got a bald spot and I'm trying to avoid my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my crusty tongue. Some of the solvents used in paints are VOCs or volatile organic compounds, which evaporate to make localized air pollution and can have a variety of long-term health impacts. <gasps> Is there a Philip head? Oh. Uh, the plus sign? Straight talk. Am I right? 
Can I pay real quick? Why am I doing it wrong? <laughs> is it better? <laughs> like this? I have to restart my potato. <laughs> It's not even that funny. VOCs are typically highest in oil-based paints. Fortunately, there are water-based paints or latex paints, which serve as a greener and safer alternative. When it comes to buying paint, make sure to find one that is water-based and contains low or minimal amounts of VOC. If you have leftover paint that you need to get rid of, try recycling it. Recycling programs like Paint Care has drop-off locations where you can toss your oil in water-based paints. If you can't recycle your paint, do not pour it down the drain or on the ground. For water-based paints, allow it to solidify and then throw it away in the trash can. For oil-based paints, dispose them at your local household hazardous waste collection site. We should do like a montage of just like... You look like the 4th of July! <laughs> <laughs> Is that gonna be the ongoing gag in this video? Just my toes. She is very gorgeous to me. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, obviously, we're not done, but I need time to edit, so I'm gonna end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you oh! You ain't gotta go to work, 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 work. Oh, I need to do this week's shout out. This week's shout out goes to B N or Bean because she makes beans. What the f And you're also the winner of free lab shenanigans merch. If you want a shout out and a chance to win free <laughs> If you want a shout out and a chance to win free lab shenanigans merch, comment down below a paint palette emoji. A paint palette emoji. Alrighty guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and also turn on the bell notification. See y'all later. Bye! <laughs>